Hey guys, and welcome back to another set of the Callisto Protocol. When we last left off, we'd finally made it to the tower, and, well, we got locked in a horrible uh, thingy what's it with um, another one of those two-faced guys who are, ah, uh, they're kind of starting to get a little bit obnoxious at this point. They're not really much of a threat anymore. They're just kind of annoying. Um, we also, uh, had our friend Danny. yes, she's now infected, um, she desperately needs some kind of cream for her face, which we are going to uh, try and find her, uh, our friend Ferris, yes, Ferris the Fusty Ferret is back, he's uglier than before, uh, a bit of an attitude problem, you know, uh, we bested him once, well, actually, we didn't really best him, we, we kind of got saved, uh, by Danny, thinking about it. So, yeah, actually scratch that. So, I'm sure he's going to be back. Haven't seen much of this Cole character, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm... Oh, hi. Hello. Jesus. Was that necessary? Okay. Okay. We've got the crazies. We're in full crazy town right now. Oh, God. Apparently... We're just getting destroyed. Yep. That's... <laughs> that's that's one way to start the video, I suppose. Um, well, I mean... <laughs> okay. That guy was just taking thousands of bullets. I mean, you do you, boo, I guess. That's fine. If you want to take thousands of bullets, you can take thousands of bullets, I guess. He just wasn't going down, man. He kept mutating. What a dick. Anyway, let's try that again. Uh, was there any other goodies? Ooh, we actually do have some ammo. It's cold as ice in my gaming room at the moment. I got my heater on. <gasps> I know, I know, I know, but I had no choice. I had to put it on. And I've just had some Asian fire noodles for lunch. So hopefully that's done something. Right, where are you, you little bastards? Yeah, two degrees in here this morning, which is fun. Come on. Really? Who's coming alive? You. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. He just, like, appears alive. That's kind of funny. Dude, you're a proper penis. My god. He was a tough cookie now, wasn't he? Dick. All right, well, whatever, whatever, I guess. Give me some bullets, man. Thank you. I guess we're going to have all sorts of these guys coming back to life. Well, we, we found out, Jacob, if you were paying attention, that this prison was built on top of uh, some kind of old mining facility. Yeah, specifically to use people for... Um, yeah, research subjects. I'm sorry, were you not in the room when that happened? Okay. Oh, big loud noise. Oh, boomers. I don't know if they're actually called boomers. But they're called boomers now. No, I, I, no, no, switch guns, switch guns. Switching guns is really hard in this game. Okay, I mean, he tried. Yeah, that's the fire ammo. I mean, as you can see, the fire ammo is, like, pretty good. Oh, really? Look, fucking die. The fire ammo is really good. It just... It expends too much, like, an unsustainable amount of ammo. Which is its Achilles heel. Yeah, obviously, I suppose. But we've got the lights off as well. I thought we're, we're coming up to the end of the game. We'll turn all the lights off. What a miserable place to come to. It's kind of like uh, the Resident Evil style. Laboratories. You know that shit ain't fun. Oh, hello. 
It'd be really cool if I could pick the right thing up. No, just going to randomly pick up anything, any object. That's a cool game. Wow, I really do feel when you're grabbing stuff with this. It really is a crapshoot with what you're going to get. As you can see, it's not always what you're aiming at. Sometimes it's something behind you, in front of you, who knows. Uh, so, standard precautions. Would have been fun if we could read some of that. Come on, buddy. What? Oh, really? Where did you come from? Good lord. Well, we better not use all of our ammo, I suppose. Uh, well, this is getting bad. Uh, anything to throw? You know what? We're just going to have to melee these guys, aren't we? That's fine. Had to take a free hit on us there because... Obviously, handling two enemies at once. Oh, I forgot we had the assault rifle. Yeah, so you still can't really handle two enemies at once that easily. I do like the fact now, if they uh, try and block our attacks, we can actually just um, break their arms, which is actually quite a cool, nifty little upgrade. Alright, cool. So we're just going to have like enemies constantly jumping out at us now. Is that going to be the thing? Because that's scary game design. If you're a child, maybe. Right, there we go. Okay, well, I shouldn't say that. Oh, is this SCP? Oh. Something's making some noises down there. Yay! Getting closer. Getting closer to what? Hey, lady, you can, like, put some lights on here or something. A little bit dark, you see. Are you getting up, sunny shine? Apparently, like... If someone's not dead, dead. Some bad stuff happened here. Yeah, no shit, Jacob. If someone's not dead, dead, you can still, like, manipulate their corpse, which we found out the other day. Hey, buddy. You're not dead, dead, are you? Well, it's just one. Trouble is, it's dark. And the trouble with it being dark is we can't actually see what the enemies are doing. Okay. Who is making all that noise? How are you? Well, come on then. Let's be having, yeah? That's it. A fight. Like men. No need to be creeping in the corner. Like a bitch. That's... Jesus. Okay. So we're going to go through the morgue. What's the betting? We're going to have 687,000 creatures just popping out of the woodwork at us. Yeah, well, we've got... We've got spikes, so... Oh, hello. Just as I said. If they're dead, dead, we can't do that. Ooh. What's that? Shimmering. Oh, how did I miss that? Ridiculous. Now, one thing that was cool with Dead Space as well is when your Kinesis module uh, recharged... 
It actually made an audible sound. Oh, hello. You alright, buddy? Feel better? Glad you introduced yourself. Wow, look how many teeth these guys have. They got like two sets of teeth. Is that enough? Well, I guess so. Oh, right, here we go. Huh? Huh? How do you like that? Ooh. Oh, they're keeping him alive on some kind of ventilator, I guess. Not great. Not great for him, I suppose. Biohazardous storage. Oh, evening. Come on, fella. There you go. So, do we want to go into biohazardous storage first, or do we want to go this way first? Right, well, I'm guessing we can't actually go that way. I kind of get the feeling that this woman wants us dead. Because, I don't know, Chief. Oh, we're out of ammo nearly as well. Uh, right, I'm going to turn my headset down as well, because this music's already getting on my nerves. And not in the way it's meant to be. Right, so biohazardous storage, I guess it is. Let's go. Oh. We're not going back up. Oh, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, hello. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, right. Wow. Side block. Ooh. We got cocoons. Oh. Hi, friend. Ah, look. That wasn't an open invitation for everybody to turn up. Come on. And you're going to get bigger and uglier, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they don't take any shit, do they? Yeah, they really don't take any shit. But fuck you, buddy. So we're not going to the side block. Just look at this, man. This is kind of a cool scene. Let me uh, sip some coffee here. Ah, much better. All right, cool. Well, well, I guess these creepy uh, dickwads are going to drop from the sky on us. Because, you know. Wow. You know what would be cool in this game, actually? Hello. I mean, come on. I'm literally, like, I'm expecting it here. I'm expecting at any minute a thousand of you guys to just come out of nowhere. Just come at me. You don't need to jump out of everything. Because, you know, it's old. <laughs> it's really old at this point. It's kind of like um, in fear. 
where they kept doing the uh, jump scares with that little girl. Like, in the beginning of the game, it was cool. But, like, you know, it feels a good game. Yeah, I'm not saying it isn't. But towards the end, it was just constant. Uh, and I remember the first time I played it, actually. On my uh, three... Did I play it on the 360 or the PC first? I can't remember. Well, whichever one I played on first... Ah, fuse required. I didn't finish it. Because I just got bored of, like, the constant jump scares. Oh, nice. Like, literally, it got to the point where every single... Oh, incineration room. Every single... No, that's where we came from. Every single ladder would have her, like, just, you know, as you went to go down, would have her looking at you. Um, you know, every little corridor, you'd have a light flicker and stuff like that. And again, like, you know, it's fine. It's a horror game. But when it's, like, every single ladder, every single corridor, you, you know, you lose something. Right. So, we need... We need a fuse. We don't have a fuse though, do we? Fuse required, right. And this is it. Oh no, we can run. It just you just have to push the button three times. Um I guess we're not getting back up there, so the fuse has to be down here. Can we go in here? Nope. Can we crawl through this vent? Nope. I thought not. That's a monster vent. Ah! Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep moving forward. Yes, boss. Well, you're the scientist. Like, what can I do? Please don't make me walk back through this again. Uh, guess we can't see what's down there. Is this going to be a stealth bit? I don't know, actually. Oh. Oh, right. Okay, that was quite cool. Not sure why that was just, like, in the corner. Being a creepo. Oh. I was actually trying to loot the monster. I didn't even know there's a door there to cut. Can I loot the monster? Thank you. Jesus. Shouldn't have to push... Oh, let's take the membrane off my keyboard. The cover. Shouldn't have to push the button 36,000 times for it to actually work. Alright. <sighs> Hello. Any gribbly motherfuckers want to come out and inch? Oh, there's the gate fuse, I guess. <laughs> I like the way. <laughs> oh, we can dismember these bodies. Oh, I didn't know that. Kind of fun. <gasps> no. Not more gribblies. Any more? Come on, there's always more. My beating stick hungers. Actually, one thing with this um, assault rifle. You get a lot of ammo for it. Seemingly, anyway. Alright, let's have a little poke up here. Ah. We can't actually have a proper poke up here. Taken. Who is Tala? Nope. I think that was Tala. Ah. Observation log. Subject 324 
1-980 exhibits an intriguing mix of characteristics, most notably an enhanced will to survive. Recommend extraction and induction into the program. Oof. After two weeks in the program, Subject 324-980 exhibits remarkable physical enhancements, though his mental state is deteriorating rapidly. Hmm. So, Mola was the ringleader of the circus, in a manner of speaking. Yeah, under Cole, anyway. I intend to keep moving. Hadn't planned on slowing down. Oh, shop. Mezzanine. Alright, well, we like shops. You know, to buy things. Things we like. Right, what have we got here? Really? Nothing? Oh, take the medical syringe. Thank you. Just what I always wanted. So, we've got that to sell. We don't actually have... Wow, okay. We don't actually have as much to sell as I was hoping. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wow, we're pretty broke, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Well, okay. Well, I mean, if we're broke, we're broke, I guess. I don't really want to sell ammunition. Are we going to be in a boss fight? I'm getting boss fight nerves. Oh, oh really? No. It's just an empty chest with nothing in it. Definitely drop something that's vanished. I think those chests should have something in them. Like, if you're going to waste my time with those super scary jump scares of terrifying proportions. Ooh. Wait, we were here before, weren't we? At least somewhere very similar anyway. Yeah, no, we were here before. Yeah, that's where we had to put the fuse in. Well, this place got messed up, didn't it? I think fighting these things with robots would probably oh, would probably be the best idea. To be honest. Can you just die? Thank you. No need for a song and dance. Yeah, I remember this place. Definitely getting a lot of assault rifle armor. That's kind of cool the way that keeps like catching on that. He's also docks. Guess you couldn't save him, huh? Wonder if that robot is still skulking around. Because remember, we had that robot. That we couldn't get too close to. Otherwise he would have murdered us instantly. Oh! Oh, come on! Really? 
Another two head. Oh god, already? Alright. Okay, I don't know. Do you want to run? Why can't I run? <laughs> like, seriously. Run! This is my problem, guys. The run button doesn't work. Like, why, though? It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to make Jacob run. I still haven't... I still haven't worked out how the run button works. It seems to be only when the game allows you to run. Like, here, I can run. Right? No problem. Easy as pie. Um, thanks, dude. And then there are other areas where, like, no matter what you do, he just won't run. I don't understand. I don't get it. Anyway, so we know we've got a two head coming, and it's not just a two head, it's a two head and a load of enemies. So, we're going to want to make sure this is good to go. That's good to go. Everything's loaded up. I guess we could use the boom bullets, I suppose. That would empty out our inventory pretty quickly. Because our inventory is really full of ammo right now. Alright, let's do it again. Come on, you big old bastard. Let's be having ya. Give you that. And then that. And then that. Right. Okay. But yeah, this is the problem. Oh, God. Alright. Alright. Apparently, we have those runny explosive guys to tend with as well. Come on. No. Why would I want to use melee? Can we... Can we have a weapon out, please? Thank you. I'm just going to go through the motions. Through the motions. There we go. Keep ducking and weaving. Reload. Oh, nice. Those guys really suck. Alright, well, whatever. We got ourselves a CPU princess, so... Alright, we're out of ammo with you. So threes to use our medical injector, which, my God, look how quick that is now. Um, cool. So we can run now. So why couldn't we run here? So, yeah, look, I'm holding down shift. So... Right, look. Okay, here. This bit here. You can't run on this bit. Yeah, look. I'm holding shift down. But why? That's... Oh, God. Alright, anyway. Well, let's go back and sell our stuff. Oh, we can't go back now because there's stuff there in the way. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So strange, man. So strange. Like how the how the mechanics of the game work. I mean, I was watching the completionists video uh, whilst I was editing last night, and he was saying the same sort of quirks kept popping up. Like, and you know, this is Gerard, the the completionist. You know, he knows a thing or two about games. And even he said, like at the end of the game, like he still didn't understand what a perfect dodge was and. Yeah, you know, things like that. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know what a perfect dodge is. I've no idea. Um, you can dodge. Uh, and that's that's it, right? 
I don't know. Just odd, very odd things. Oh. Well, oh, oh, come on, really? That means that there's nothing in there. Oh, it killed us. No. Okay, it just puts us back here. So we know there's going to be a beastie in there, so there's no point fighting it, I suppose. Come on, two loot boxes in a row. They've got nothing in them.